What is going on Geeks Unite the Clans here back in your life with another arc building tutorial. Just like the last ones, it will be step by step. We will build this together and there are no mods. At the end, we will use some mods to add in some fall foliage and to decorate the inside. But join me today, guys, for a vanilla arc building tutorial for a large house made from wood, stone, glass, and adobe. If you build this, tweet a picture to at Unite the Clans and don't forget to like today's video. And welcome back, geeks, to another arc building tutorial. Today we're going to get started right away. Grab yourself some wooden foundations. We're going to be doing a 4x4 to start. I've gone ahead and selected a location I know would work. Um, if you guys are brand new, I'm Unite the Clans. This is an arc building tutorial. It is step by step. It may look complicated, but it's very easy, and we are going to do it together throughout the course of this video. And you're going to make mistakes, so bring extras. All the materials listed in the description. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. So there you go, a four by four. Uh, the next step we are going to need is stone foundations. Before we do that, guys, let's stop and take a look at this location. 38.9, 76.5 in the view of that amazing log in the redwoods. After a week of exploring in the desert, I have been ready to get back to this, to building and to the forests. Um, we are on the Geeks Patreon server, and that is, we're actually going to, sorry, Let's start right here, and we're gonna build a three by two off there. And then we're actually gonna bring this around to the back, and it's going to be a four by four uh, shape right here. So go out like that. But this is the, one of the Geeks Patreon servers. This is the creative building one, the extinction server. Uh, so every month the server resets, and everybody who is a patron of ours and plays on our servers gets the chance to come here and build like I am now as an admin, where you can spawn in, in any materials you need and build to your heart's content. You can fly and, uh, and yeah, you can build whatever your imagination entails. And so this month we have a uh, combined theme. It just started. So for the next 30 days we will be building autumn and Halloween themed things on here. Uh, from there guys, come out five. And what we're gonna be doing is coming out from the middle. So this is technically seven stone foundations. Pick the one in the middle or the one that lines up uh, like so with this first row of stone behind your wooden foundation. And you come out five. And then I think what I did was just one more like so. And so that is your very oddly shaped foundation for this build. Um, the next step we are going to need is to begin working on walls. All right, geeks, this is where the build is really going to take off. Come to the front of your house. Now, I would use thatch if you are gathering all these materials for this stage. These pieces will not be sticking around, but you're going to outline, and you can skip the corners. You're going to outline uh, as much of the wooden foundation as you can, and this is going to be the beginning of us placing some inside-out uh, wooden walls. So you're going to want those on your hotbar too. And if you, I find if you come to the inside, this build can be done very easily uh, without flying. I just do it for simplicity. It actually makes things go faster. Uh, and, uh, but this build of all the builds I've done, very, very simple to do like that. So what we're going to do is actually build too high uh, with uh, all of these walls we just built. And we're basically outlining all of the wooden foundation. We left the bits that intersect with stone shadow boxing there we go we left the bits here that intersect with stone and now uh, all of these ceilings could come out if we wanted them to uh, these guys may be beneficial for you as you build the next uh, stage of the house so don't take them out if you don't need to if you're building in survival you can leave these until the end but i'll show you what we have done so far very very simple start and from here we are going to need uh to go use some more of these ceilings. And this time uh, you can actually use wood because I imagine for most of you guys that, uh, I imagine for most of you guys that these, uh, these ceilings that we're placing in right now will likely stay and form part of the upstairs of your house. So from here, guys, we're gonna be doing these inside out wood walls on the bottom. And that is done by snapping to the ceilings. We just snap to on top, we want to go back to regular. So instead of just flipping them, which on a uh, PC is E, I think Q for me, uh, is Y and triangle on console. Instead of just flipping it like that to get the desired result, you're going to want to snap it to an actual thing right there. So that's what we're doing here and uh, build all the way across. We're going to do one steady line like this. Uh, and then we're going to build up like so like so and we're actually going to put in our first windows so for this we're going to be using greenhouse glass uh, and once again we will put an arch on top 
like that. And that is the beginning of this house. So we're going to uh, add, it's gonna be very easy actually. I'm gonna add one more wall here and we're gonna carry on uh, our uh, ceilings right across here. Now they are gonna wanna snap in odd and different directions. If you're not paying too much attention, you can get them to snap like that. If you want them all facing the same way, and we can do that, then just make sure you're looking at the thing you want it to line up with. And we've done that there. So now we can come out here and do this. So this house is really quite lovely. I like it a lot, guys. Let's go ahead and get these bits in like so. Now what we're gonna do on this side is match the arch that we just had. So take you up and guess right? Yes, I did guess right. Okay, so that is the beginning of our first chunk of the house. Um, now this chunk of the house is going to be getting, uh, and actually, you know what? I'm not done, sorry. Put one more right there. This chunk of the house is going to be getting stone on top, stone roofs. Uh, I'm wondering if we're ready for that. All right, guys. So let's roof in this small chunk of house that we have already done. It is four wide across the front, and then this one side is complete. Ooh, pardon me. The other side is going to be a different uh, sort of style of house, but it's going to be conjoined and attached to the current house we have. So that's all you want to do for roof. You don't want to fill in this space right here. So let's come down to what we're working with over here. Uh, what I want to do is get us started with our uh, front door. Now uh, there is, uh, I've been playing with Structures Plus quite a while, and it has a stone ramp, which is not a thing you have in the vanilla game. But if you were to place a ceiling there, you should be able to find a snap point underneath it that lines up like that and will work as a ramp. We can go ahead and take that out. And the way that uh, vanilla arc building pieces work now, you should be able to snap right under there, which we were able to do. So you now have a little ramp right here. That is gonna be your door uh, on top. Let's go ahead and do this. And beside it, we're gonna build two wooden walls, or stone walls, pardon me. And so these stone walls can be carried around a bunch of the build here, guys. Like the inside out wood on the first chunk of the building, go too high. And on top of that, we're gonna be using a different material to differentiate it. Um, instead of placing a wall here, you're going to want another one of the doors and put a wall on top and we will carry along uh, around the outside of this place. Now it's up to you here guys, but I like the look of this. So we're gonna go ahead and add in a couple of greenhouse glass windows right there. And we'll go back to stone walls to fill in this area. Now the entire build should have two high walls around it if I have done my job right. Perfect, and now the next step is ceilings. Once again, if I were you guys, I would use thatch. These will not be staying in place. Um, and we're gonna be using these to place inside out wooden walls, the same texture we have on the bottom down here, we're gonna be using for the top of the stone portion. So let's go and encircle this entire thing. All right guys, so that entire section has been outlined. The next step is wooden walls. Now, uh, if you are standing here on the outside on these bits, as I imagine you will be, look at your feet to get that snap point. If you, like me, are flying, you can just go on the inside and look out uh, to get that snap point. Now, this section is only going to be one high, which means over here, it is going to taper up. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put another uh, wall on top and another one of these slopes on top. Now we can actually keep building across here, guys. Uh, so this front of the house is actually going to be given the impression that it's six wide. So you actually build up another whole thing here and go like so. Now, uh, most of these are gonna be able to be taken out in the end, um, but we're gonna get these ones in here for now. And, uh, oh, pardon me. And then this is where you begin to slope down. So if you come to the front of the house, you will see we have created that shape where the slope from our further back part of the build is going to match right up with this part of the build. Um, but we want to, actually, I think that's technically all I would need to do. Yeah, I believe that's right. Okay, so we have done that here on the front. What we need to do next is take the wooden walls all the way around the outside here, and then we'll build that same arch on the back. All right, guys, before you get to this side, it's gonna be a little bit different, so let's leave that. I've continued the row of walls down here. 
Now I'm going to throw this up and we know it goes up one, two, three and it comes down one, two, three. But we have run out of space. We decided not to carry on foundations out here. So this whole area looks like it is not part of this house. So what we're going to be doing is, and give me these, we're going to be leaving a very tall wall on this particular side of the house. And that's gonna give us the opportunity to stash windows here. So like before, if you are on the outside standing on these, look at your feet until you get that lighter color of the sort of highlighted section. And then you, uh, if you're flying, you can come to the inside like so. So let's go ahead and snap these in place and you can see exactly how high it would go. And then what I'm going to do is go window frame, window frame, uh, window frame. What am I talking about? That's a greenhouse glass wall. And we're going to go put those in right there. We'll put the wood right on top. And this is up to you guys. You can put the windows anywhere you like. You can have some on the back here. You can decide that that doesn't look right. Uh, I don't know if it does because they're centered, but then the roof above them is not centered. Yeah, I don't know. It's a real challenge. I'm not sure exactly how to do this little ch uh, chunk of the build, but I think we're going to leave it as is for here for now. I'm going to go ahead and take out all of these ceilings. We're going to come back and add in a roof together. Now, unlike, ooh, let's get rid of you. Now, unlike this chunk of the house over here, which managed to get a stone roof, we're actually going to be doing wood on top of this section, and there is a reason for that. I thought it looked like it might actually. I don't know. I thought that looked as good as anything was going to look when you're merging these two materials together. But we managed to get the wall at this height, which means we can take this all the way across like so. And that is what this little chunk of the house looks like. I'm not too bothered by the two different materials meeting up here. And when you see the rest of the house, you will definitely get it. And um, we are going to bring this down like so. And there's actually a little area here I don't want to touch. So let's leave that for now. And we're going to be coming in and doing that now. I kind of forgot about that part. It's going to be great. Let's work on that. Like so. And I'm going to leave a little space. Maybe we decide to add a little, uh, I don't know, we will see. But what I basically want to do, guys, is build something off of this spot right here. So I'm going to end up using a stone ceiling instead. That's what I accounted for in your inventory. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and use a stone ceiling. Yeah, you only need the one. So let's go ahead and do stone ceiling right there. And then from here, guys, we are going to be building down. You're going to want a stone. And what we're going to be doing here is adding what is going to look like a chimney. For this house so if you build like this you're going to want to make sure everything lines up seamlessly and that you're not getting any weird snap points as you can sometimes get when you start building up or down from the ceiling um, and then let's see let's see let's see so on this side i'm going to take it all the way to the ground take you all the way to the ground that you could probably freehand a foundation under here i keep seeing spots i could do it but if you uh, don't have that ability. There is a way to do it legitimately. So what we're going to do is build out from those new walls with another set of ceilings. Now these, of course, could be thatch and these pillars could totally be wood because they are expendable. But you're going to build down with pillars and that right there is going to create a snap point for the thing I just took off my hotbar, which would be a stone foundation. So now I should have a perfect snap point right there given to me by this pillar. And if I remove this pillar, I should still have it. So that is what you were trying to accomplish. This can come out as well. And then for right here, guys, uh, before you do anything, let's go ahead and grab a stone fireplace. Okay, you know what we're gonna do, guys? We are gonna go ahead and put a door frame down first, and we're gonna use that to judge the depth that we wanna get this at. If you have the no clip method, which allows you to basically build in the middle of other pieces like that, uh, this should be easy. If you don't, I don't know exactly how you'll accomplish this. You might just wanna use a campfire instead of a fireplace, but I want the hearth to be clipping out ever so slightly. All right, guys, so maybe not my best work, but what we're gonna do, fill this up with whatever wood we've got in it. We're going to start that up. And now this thing that we're building here, guys, is actually, I haven't decided exactly what it's going to be, but it is the heart of the house. On top, it's going to look like a smokestack or a chimney for the house. Actual smoke is going to come out due to the work that we do here. And if we actually do it right, we could end up placing a, another one at this height, uh, which would give us lots and lots of options. But for now, let's come down to the bottom where we are going to do exactly what we just did and we see this new foundation sits a bit higher than the other ones so let's go ahead and do our door frame in here first and we will set this so that it's just nestled back in there like so and we'll light that up as well 
put a stone wall on top of there. And before we get any further, guys, I think what we're going to need to do is to... Uh, I'm going to add one more ceiling in here. Now, this one's wood. Uh, I don't know if I had this accounted for uh, in your, your counts, but we're going to try and get the one that snaps right like so. And we're going to use that snap point to come out. Now, one thing to keep in mind, make sure the boards are facing the same direction as the boards you already have over here, because eventually these two things are going to tie in together. So with that in place, that means we can now go ahead and place one more chimney. And this one is going to be sticking out quite a bit. Uh, it's oops, sorry, it's going to be about maybe halfway through something like that halfway through the uh, the wall sticking out more than the other two. And you're going to put uh, actually, let's do a door frame going to put a wall on top and I'm going to take the wall up as high as the chimney like this and these are all our active chimneys they're going to be layered and piled into a smokestack like so and if you back up and take a look at the house that is the look of it so it is a big thick chimney and it, it's offset uh, from the rest of the house building wise. So once we get up here, and I, I should say that the technique we used to start this off to get that one ceiling so that it's floating uh, right here in the middle of uh, the wall, like we asked it to, that wouldn't work with Structures Plus. So if you are building this with mods, keep that in mind. But this is what we have so far. Let's go ahead and grab a few of our uh, stone railings. So the stone railings will go around the top like so. It'll hide that last little bit of chimney that sticks out. And we're going to take the last of the stone railings and we're going to come along like so. Like so and like so. And that is all the stone railings. Now what we're going to do is give ourselves a couple more ramps like we did over here. And then we're going to start building the superstructure that goes over this, which is going to be like a little forge area for you guys. All right, guys, so it is important to note this technique I showed you earlier. It won't work if this is a standalone thing. You need something here to hold it in place. Otherwise, that's the case. So if we come over here and try the exact same thing, I have a feeling it's going to work flawlessly. So we'll grab our sloped roof, and now it's clipping into the foundation on the side. Tell me that works, and it does. So that is the trick. We're going to add one there. We're going to add one here, and let's break you out. Okay. Okay. So those are in place. I'm going to go be a perfectionist and try and hide a little piece of wood down underneath each of them. Like so. Now this one not wanting to work for us. So I think the easiest method, that's weird. We're going to go with a ramp here because that's not working for us. Sometimes, guys, you just learn to give up on something. So let's just put a wooden ramp right there instead. So we now have this little space. What we need to quickly do is go up and finish the roof over here, and then we're gonna dive into this little lean-to that's gonna be attached to our house. All right, and let's go ahead and place these last little bits of roof in. Now that that chimney is complete, we know we can go ahead and block these bits off. We can fill in the space here. If you want, guys, this would be a good spot to include some skylights. All right, geeks, if I don't remember to do it, try and subtract uh, three wooden sloped roofs from the total materials list and add three greenhouse roofs. I don't think that was in my test design. I'm gonna just do those three. Basically gonna center the space on this side of the chimney and leave this to itself. I think that's a good start. All right guys, I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna come back and we're gonna dive into this lean-to, grab your adobe roofs, your pillars, your fence foundations, and some more wooden building pieces. And welcome back, geeks. This is how our cabin is looking right now. I think it looks pretty fantastic i really enjoyed it i think it does this uh this vista justice we are going to add a another touch to it what we're going to be doing right now is building a lean-to a sort of add-on that i picture being useful for uh, either storing dinos uh, or for um uh, some crafting stuff like i would put my forge back there now we are going to want uh we are going to want to run ceilings along here now i am using wood if i were you guys i would think about using Let's get those all facing the same way. I would use uh, thatch because these are not permanent. Um, what these are actually going to do, and you're going to place one here as well, these are going to give us the basis for the back of the place. So we're going to start with this. And the reason we place those is so that these would snap there, so that we get that texture on the outside and this texture on the inside. We're going to start with a door frame. I think the only window frame in the whole build goes directly above it, and then a wall on top of that. It's going to come down like so with walls. 
Ooh, and be careful not to look too close to your feet. Otherwise, he will do that. And before we continue, guys, I want to make sure we stash a uh, fence foundation right there. We're going to be coming through and adding in a pillar. So uh, let's go ahead and go up like this. And that is the height at which we have built things. From here, you're going to make a switch, and it's going to be door frames will be the primary thing you need. On top of that, we're going to put one of these. And then on top of that, you do this and this. And we're actually going to be able to build one down from there. Uh, as I understand it, as it worked in my test build, ooh, that did something weird. Oh, I have a fence foundation there. That is why. Okay, so let's get rid of that. We won't be needing you, and we'll be putting uh, you like a so. Whoops. Sometimes this can be super difficult. There we go. All right, so that is in place. And if I understand it right, removing this will do everything we need. Before we do, I'm going to actually put the wooden fence foundation there, see if it stays as well. It doesn't. Okay. So let's see. Okay, well, we will figure that out. So now that we have that in place, we can actually go through and remove all of these, including this one here in the corner. And that is what we have on the go. Uh, we are going to be placing uh, some pillars, and we're going to need a fence foundation somewhere along this side here. I think I may already have one in place based on the way that snapped. Um, I had a crash, and I had to go back and redo this chunk. So if there is a chance, we'll see if I have already placed a fence foundation there, because I think I have... Yes. So a pillar will go there. It's on the edge of this foundation. So you're sure it's attached to a fence foundation. We're only going to go one high with it. We're actually going to bring it uh, all the way across the front. So snap a full foundation out again, again, and again until you reach this side. I'm going to remove the one in the mi middle. Now over here, guys, you should be able to uh, either fence this off to put dinos inside, add in a gate if you're really adventurous. Um, or uh, just use it to stash a bunch of forges. You can do whatever you want with this little space. I look forward to seeing what people do. It's going to be great. Uh, now, for us, we are going to grab ourselves some adobe roofs. So yet another material being introduced in this build, along with the wood and the stone and the glass that we've used so far. We're now going to get some adobe on the go. And I really like the look of this, guys. So this was inspired. This whole build was inspired by this this little chunk of a lean-to meeting a big chimney, meeting a big house, and having them all work together like that. That is the vision I had that inspired the whole thing, and that's what we have on the go right now. All right, welcome back, guys. Let's go ahead and head inside via this door, and we'll take a look at the space we now have on the inside. Lit up by uh, big skylights, and if I didn't show you this, I don't think I did. I think this part might have been cut out, but what I did uh, at some point was add in a second uh, uh, ceiling right here, and we placed this this uh, fireplace on it. And we're actually going to use this to build off of, so I'm going to take this line uh, straight out to begin with until it matches up over here, like so. Oh, and that's actually a good bit higher. That's all right. We will make the most of it. Um, and we're actually going to go ahead and remove these back two right here. Now, this is where we're going to incorporate a staircase like so all right so a staircase we now have that brings you up here now we never finished this little area we're going to do that now uh, start with a window frame sorry a door frame there and we're going to put a wall in that space and then we're going to work to fill this space we'll do another wall on top we'll do this on top and then you have a little front room here guys you don't need to separate that out but i think it would look nice if you did and then what we need to do is fill out the space here. You guys can see there is a very large space in this particular part of the house. Hey, let's get some sunlight coming through here. And there you go. That's a little better. All right. So the sun's coming through. You can see how big the space is here. If you choose uh, to use it like this, you could actually fit a standard dino gate right there or right there along any of these walls. And you could make this a fully functional base. For us, we're leaving it as a cute house. And we're actually gonna be building in a second story. So with that in mind, I'm gonna be taking some of these ceilings and we're gonna be building across like so. So guys, this ceiling is actually not going to be working for me. It is sitting much higher than it did in my test build. And I'm not sure quite why. I think it's because this foundation sits a little high. I'm not sure what snap point I used, but I'm gonna risk breaking this which I was able to do. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to hang a wall down from one of the ceilings we already have. We're going to use this to get uh, the same snap point, but at the height we want it. 
So let's go ahead and place that in place there. So now we should be able to remove this wall. There we go. And we now have this uh, quarter placed, sort of placed on the corner. So it covers only a quarter of this. Um, and we now have that space. So the reason that we did that is because I wanted to leave a little gap by this window here, we have succeeded. That would mean some of the light from below is gonna make its way up here. And that means we can go back to using the standard snap point. We don't need to use these unusual ones over here. So this can actually come out right there. And, ooh. and we'll fill this space and then it's up to you guys. Do you just go like this and close it off or do you fill in this entire space? I think that's what we are going to do. We want to make the most of this, make a really big upstairs space. Like so and like so. So that is the space you've got now. Let's go ahead and stick another Adobe, uh, sorry. Let's go ahead and stick a little bit more greenhouse glass in here. Go well, one here and one here. I'm not sure how that's going to look uh, with what we've done on the outside. Is that right over top? It's a little bit weird. So let's go here. We will go here and we'll put a regular wall back there. And now we just have too high glass right there. I think that could work. Ceiling running in between. You've got your upstairs fireplace. Let's get that lit up. Uh, let's go ahead and slap a couple of quick railings up here. All right, so that looks good. A couple of railings right here. Let's put a door in here. And we'll come downstairs and see where else we may need to add doors. I think we're going to go with the reinforced uh, for the front door. Like so. Going to go with the reinforced for this side door. Those work better with the stone. They look better oftentimes with the stone. We'll pop you open and then I don't know if we need one right here, but we can go ahead and place a wooden door right here, like so. And there we go, guys. That is it. You have built this place. It should be looking like that if you have followed along. And that means you're nearly done. You can decide what to do with the inside yourself. And if you're not playing with any mods, the main part of the video is over for you. If you do have mods on your server and you want to see how I decorate this place, come hang out in the next chunk of the video. This doesn't say autumn yet. It doesn't say autumn at all yet. So what I'm going to do is step away from you. I'm going to use some of the mods that are on this server, Eco Trees and our new Halloween Hallows Eve mod, whatever it's called, to decorate the place up, put it into season. And I will come back with you to show off the final completed build. Look at that smoke coming out the smokestack. We did good today, guys. And there we go. Welcome back, geeks. The place has been decorated up. I did this stuff away from camera because it's time consuming, uh, getting it to look good, and not everybody is going to be able to do this. These are from the Eco Trees mod. I chose any one with the word autumn in front of it, brought a few Japanese maples into the mix, and then we used a combination of stuff from Eco Trees and from the Ark Hallows Eve mod to decorate around the outside of the house. Uh, with this stuff here, I ended up throwing a couple of forges right over here. And this little awning, this little uh, lean-to looks great. If you come around the outside of the house, you will see more of these autumn trees. Uh, and I did a little pumpkin patch back here. So a mix of the Eco Trees pumpkins. And then the pumpkins from the Ark Hallows Eve mod are great. Because you can just keep making them bigger and bigger. <laughs> I don't know if I went too big or not. Never have a big enough pumpkin, but that's what that is. That looks great. This mod also comes with brooms, uh, which are fantastic. Uh, you can see a little decoration around here. Here's a couple of brooms. So what I did, guys, after I built this yesterday, and there's you can see how fun a broom would be to explore on. Pretty fun. Uh, we got to play a little Quidditch. Let's go ahead and land this thing. Boom, like so. Uh, after we built this uh, yesterday and I recorded the main part of the tutorial, I threw this out to my Patreon supporters. Because for the first time ever, I'm doing my tutorials on a Patreon server instead of on my own. So I threw this out there and said, would anyone be willing to decorate the inside for me? And Alley Cat, who is one of our patrons, offered it up and she said, yes, she would. Oh, am I still bumping my head walking through there? I thought I solved that issue. Anyway, so she chose this part of the house, the old wooden part of the house for the basic crafting. Got forges, got your smithy, got your fabricator. 
and your uh, mortars and pestles. Uh, the fabricator is actually powered from above. She hid the generator up in that little tiny room I thought might get used as a bedroom. Ooh, and she did a whole... I didn't even notice this. Look at this. She did a whole thing here. She made a separate little landing. So, unite the clans and a little, like, lithograph of Log Cabin 2. Looks fantastic, Allie. And then, come on in here. She used this little room for storage. Get these cute little light fixtures. All kinds of storage up here you'll be able to pull from. And that is too cool. Good job. Good job. Okay. And then you come on in to the main part of the house. So this, she has made a little relaxing area, a lounge. You still get the light from above from this little feature I included. She got a little light over the fire, a little spot for two people to chill, enjoy themselves, and a little writing desk over here, which I think looks great. Yeah, that does look good. And then if you come down, she has made a whole... Well, I guess we'll have to come back and look at that uh, downstairs bit. But from the upstairs, she's got this whole thing sticking through. Little Christmas lights on the railings. And she went and made all this wooden floor into glass. I think that's a great call. Seriously, I like it. And then that's the door we came in, right? <laughs> and then a bathroom. Restrooms. Boys and girls. Check it out. Mirror. Uh, toilet. Sink. This is an eco mod sink. You can drink from it. Works just like a tap. And then a bedroom. And that's Allie who did all the work. I think she was very tired at the end of the process. <laughs> Passed out halfway through. And then finally, let's hop a down here. And we'll take a look at this last little bit of the house she decorated up. Check that out. So this this is the, the structure. I'm good at this part. I'm good at building the shell and maybe a paint job and maybe decorating the outside. I never know what to do with the insides and I don't know the mods well enough uh, to, to decorate like this. I, that's why I'm glad I have the people I do kicking around this server. So there you go, she's got pumpkins, she's got the little uh, um, uh, citronal plants, potato plants, and then a whole kitchen here, herbs hanging and drying. You get your refrigerators, you have a table for a big meal and then you get a little bar at the end of the night. Sit back and enjoy that and eat bear in front of bear rug in front of the fire how good is that so there you go guys let's uh, pop out this door and we will leave this place go ahead and do it there's the back looks so much better with all these trees around here now i am really happy with the final product geeks that does it thank you for watching guys if you are new i am unite the clans click on my face to subscribe and click on this playlist to look at some of my most recent tutorials and if you've been around a while this button is for my patreon and this one is for some of my old tutorials from last fall dive into those if you haven't seen them in about a year thank you for watching geeks and i will see you in the next arc building tutorial